Let's see how the concepts of isomorphisms can be used to answer questions that might otherwise be difficult to answer. In particular, let's come back to P sub two and the fact that P sub two is isomorphic to R sub three and that this is an isomorphism. And let's ask a question. Are these three vectors a linearly dependent or a linearly independent set. So what we're asking are is if we have a linear combination of these three vectors vectors that's equal to zero, is this linear combination necessarily trivial, in which case these are independent? Or does this equation have infinitely many solutions, in which case these are dependent? We don't have any general method of answering such questions in arbitrary vector spaces. But if we are told that this is an isomorphism, answering this question abruptly becomes a straight forward. We've got two vector spaces that are indistinguishable from a vector space point of view. And we've got three vectors. We've got x squared minus 2x plus 1. And its image over here, 1, negative 2, 0. We've got x squared plus 3. And its image over here, Sorry, one zero three, and we've got x squared minus x minus one, and its image over here one negative one negative one. And these vector spaces are indistinguishable from a vector space point of view. And these vectors are indistinguishable from a vector space point of view. If these vectors were linearly dependent, while these vectors were linearly independent, or vice versa, that would give us a way of distinguishing between these sets from a vector space point of view. Dependence and independence are vector space definitions. 
So either this set and this set are both dependent or they're both independent. And we know how to determine whether vectors in R3 are dependent or not. We set up the vector equation and we solve it using Gauss-Jordan elimination. And we see C1 equals zero, C2 equals zero, C3 equals zero. We only have the trivial solution. This set of vectors is linearly independent. This indistinguishable set of vectors must also be linearly independent. So the power of isomorphisms, and especially the power of vector spaces being isomorphic to Rn, is that even though two ve isomorphic vector spaces are formally identical and indistinguishable, one of them might be easier to work with in practice, as we saw here.